us start this morning with our prayer. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oh my God, you love me. You're with me night and day. I want to love you always, in all I do and say. I will try to please you, Father. Bless me through this day. Amen. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Today's literacy lesson, our learning objective, is to make predictions about events in a film narrative. What does that mean? I've come across these words before, predict. Predict means guess. Narrative is a story. So we're going to listen to a sound clip, listen to the sounds that we can hear, and see if we can work out what our new book is going to be about. Before we start that though, we've got a warm-up task. What do you think the word varmints means? What word or words does it sound like? words can you make from the word varmint? For example, you can only use the letters in the word once. So if I use the A, the R and the M, I can spell farm. If I use the R, the A and the M, I can spell ram. If I use the V, an A and an M, I can spell van. Pause this PowerPoint for three or four minutes and see how many other words that you can make from our word varmint. Now this is going to be a bit difficult. I want you to turn your back to the screen so you can't see the pictures. I want you to just listen. Cover up your eyes if you need to, and just listen to the sounds that you can hear. Can you identify any sounds heard in the soundtrack and make predictions of what the book is about? Make a list of five sounds you can hear. Listen to the soundtrack again. Challenge yourself. Can you hear five more sounds? What sounds did you hear? And what do those sounds remind you of? Right, this is going to be task two. Can you make connections to anything you've heard before? Link each of the sounds you heard to something it reminds you of. For example, if you heard bells, hmm, what do bells remind you of? Bells remind me of the bell at school, which means line up as lunch break time is over. What do bells remind you of? Ice cream van, maybe? Remember, you need to write full sentences and you need to start your sentence with a capital letter and end it with a full stop. So for each of the sounds that you heard, you need to connect it to a sound that you've heard before. Where did you hear that sound? What does it remind you of? And you need to write full sentences explaining where you've heard that sound before. 